Hello, welcome once again. Um, obviously, you know summer is coming. Let's say you have a problem with your air conditioning. Let's say you recharged it on the low pressure side. Still, the uh, clutch is not being engaged. The compressor uh, clutch is not being engaged. Now, a different schematic. I want to show you two different schematics. What's the first thing that you should think of? Obviously, to the clutch, we need 12 volts. Now, this schematic, I want to show you one schematic, which is the Mitchell. I want to show you another schematic, but a little different, and this is from the dealership. <clears throat> These are the manuals that you actually use for the, for the dealership, uh, for any GM vehicle. And there's three of these manuals. Let me flip it. Three of these manuals, S10 pickup, lasers, and all of them. These cost over $250. But these manuals have every possible description, every possible thing that you need to diagnose. These are the best manuals, but too costly. Other thing is, with these type of things, you really have to understand and know your knowledge quite, uh, of electronics quite well to understand what's going on. Um, with Mitchell, it's a, little diff it's a little different. They're cheaper, unless you're a member. But if you need it for one specific vehicle, they could cost up to $20 sometimes. But let's diagnose what we have to do. So we need 12 volts for this uh, AC compressor clutch. Now, we all know that usually you have 87, uh, 86, 30 on the relays like you have over here, 30, 87 for that one. But over here, we have something different like we said. We have terminals 2, 3, 5, and 1. So first, which side do we deal with? We deal with always the coil side, the control side, they call it. So we have current flowing, follow the green. The arrows, it's pointing this way. That means current flow is going this way. There's a resistor across it for suppressing the voltage spikes, just like the diodes are across the relay. When it's activated, it comes out current up to one. And then it goes to... D3 over here to a dark green with a white stripe into this, of course, a module. Which module? The PCM module, power chain control module. So <clears throat> right away what has to come to your mind is I have 12 volts coming in to the coil side through what? Through a fuse. Here's 12 volts on terminal 2. The other side has to get a ground. Remember we always say either we have a physical ground or if we don't see anything physical... That means somehow a module or computer is giving us the ground. Well, here he is right here. He's giving us the ground for the compressor clutch to be, to, to be engaged. So when you see the word AC compressor relay control on pin 43, that means, guess what? He's giving you a ground. Okay? Before that happens, other things have to happen with proper pressure that we that we spoke about for another video. But anyway, he's giving you the ground. So 12 volts on one side, and you'll get zero volts on the other side if he gives the proper command for a ground. When you see control, that tells you right away a command or something is being given to something else. The word control. I'm controlling something. I'm having a... a um, a power over something. He's having the power of activating this relay. Once that happens, now we go to the other one. Now notice only 10 amp fuse, not too much. Why? Because you're going through the module. You're not pulling so much current. Let's go to the other one. Go over here through AC fuse over here. Now notice these will not give you the battery symbol on these type of diagrams. It, it, you have to understand or infer whenever you see a fuse, you have to understand it's coming from the battery. Okay? Now, so we go through pin 3. This is activated, the switch. Now, through here, follow the arrows coming out, and 5. So, 3 is connected through pin 5. So, on pin 5, how much do you have? 12 volts. What type of wire is it? A dark green wire. Where does it go to? A splice. What splice? S104. And that's the dark green wire over here that you see. So basically, we have 12 volts, which we need, coming through the switch of the relay when it is activated. 
and the relay is good. And only 10 amps is being drawn. Not that much. The other side of this AC compressor clutch relay is a black wire going to another connected to to uh, ground. See the difference between this ground? This is a physical ground. See? Right rear of cylinder head. Whenever you see G, 117G, ground, means it's physical. This, you don't see a ground here, do you? <clears throat> but when you see the word control, and you see a module here, or, or a computer, it's giving it a ground. So now, you, you'll be more familiar with that. So, like we said, problem is, we don't see it being engaged. What do we do? We take the plug out. How many connections on the plug? Here's the plug. B and A. One side would be dark green and the other wire would be on for the a terminal would be a black one so we can measure it in in the circuit as i say but most people take out the connector i take out the connector if there's a problem where the voltage has been pulled down for for example let's say if i measure the voltage in the connector with a little uh, a terminal wire that i put in as you saw in the videos. Let's say instead of 12 volts, I get 4 volts, 5 volts. This 12 volts is being pulled down. Something is pulling it down. Then I'm going to take out the connector, physically take out the connector with how many wires? Two wires. I will go to the dark green, and when I pull it out, I want to see if it normalizes. What do I mean by normal? Lies. That means let it go to the normal voltage. If it goes back up to 12 volts, when I take this out, the problem obviously is here or to ground. Something is pulling it down. So therefore, if you have 12 volts over here, fine. You know the problem is somewhere here, somewhere here. Just make sure that you have the black wire zero volts to ground because this can open up. The connector can open up anything or this can have corrosion or rust or not making a good a good ground. You should have zero volts. So always when you do, when you when you get 12 volts, don't assume right away, uh, okay, it's a clutch or or any anything relay. Go to the other side of that component. After Go after the component, they call it. After the component is a ground. Zero volts. No exceptions. The diode over here, same thing as the resistor. It's to suppress the spikes when this goes on and off. That spike is not healthy, as they say. Therefore, with the negative polarity that it will have, this is the cathode. It's called the anode. A dial can only work a one way. It's like a one way street. That's the easiest way I can explain it. Traffic can only go one way and not go and not go the other way. So its spike can only go this way. It cannot go the other way. It'll suppress it. Like you said over here, uh on, see where this is a splice, S104. Where is it? Engine harness. Where? On a cathode side of AC compressor clutch, this is the cathode, the bar over here. The triangle that you see over here is called, on the other one, engine harness. If you're looking for this splice, you'll be looking over here. If you're looking for this splice where two wires meet, then you'll be looking at S103, engine harness on anode side. See the anode? This is called the anode, the triangle. NCA means there's no color associated with it. So all you see these wires are colors. See the colors of the wires? There's no colors over here. So that's one way to look at it. The other way I would do is I could, making sure that I have the proper meter type, I would take out the fuse and I would put the meter inside the fuse to tell me how much current is being drawn now let's say i have 12 volts over here what does that tell you <clears throat> is your computer module <clears throat> good and giving it a ground off the bat off the bat if i have 12 volts over here <clears throat> do i have to go to if i have 12 volts over here at splice s104 or the dark green or the terminal b i have 12 volts with respect to ground over here at the plug the connector is my module good? Is it giving me a ground? The answer is absolutely yes. Why? Let's look at it. We said current is flowing here. What do we need after the coil? 
we need a ground. He gives you a ground. If he gives you a ground, what happens? The switch is closed. The contacts are closed. And guess what happens? Now you get, now the contact is closed. The fact that I have 12 volts here, when I, when I go to the connector, it tells me, guess what? That the fuse is good. It tells me also that this fuse is good. It tells me the most important part. The most important part is that this powertrain control mod, this computer gave the proper command of giving it a ground. Otherwise, I could not get 12 volts here. So right away, 12 volts over here tells me all this part is good. Right, All this is good right away. And all the other inputs are good because if you have too much high pressure or too low, low pressure. What do I mean by that? Let's say it's over 450 PSI in the high pressure. This will not give it a ground. Let's say on the low side, it will, you will have a, a 10 PSI, which is unacceptable. The computer senses that and says no. The class two is the communications to the other uh, um, components and uh, uh, there it says no, I will not give you a ground. So the fact that this gives you a ground tells you what: high pressure is good, low pressure, low pressure is good, relay is good. I got the command. I got the command. I will acknowledge your command by giving you a ground, and I will give you 12 volts. But that doesn't mean that this is good. Doesn't mean that this is good. Doesn't mean the diode is good. At least you're left with these three. Doesn't mean the ground is good. Now let's go to a simple one. And I'm going to continue the, the video on an, another on another uh, uh, video. I don't want to make it too long, so I'll continue on another one.